Um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, the long division of polynomials. Um, so we are going to uh, evaluate uh, these examples using long division uh, method. Now, um, in our previous video, we um, mentioned uh, that uh, in the video uh, entitled Introduction to uh, division of polynomials we mentioned that uh, there are many similarities and parallels between polynomials and uh, integers uh, and so it is uh, in fact true even uh, for the uh, case of uh, long division so the long division of polynomials is pretty much similar to the long division of uh, integers similar to the long division of uh, integers um, which you might remember from primary school or something like that um, however uh, just so, so that uh, we are all uh, up to speed uh, we're going to do a uh, uh, little example here to remind us what uh, the long division of uh, integers was like so suppose we've got one nine five eight divided by four so if we're doing this by long division we're going to put one nine five eight inside uh, uh, this uh, apparatus there four it's going to go outside um, so maybe let me just uh, space this out just to help us uh, explain the process one nine five eight so then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say how many times does four go into one and it doesn't go so then we're going to say well how many times does four go into 19 and the answer is going to be four so it goes four times and then after that we're going to say what is four times four so four times four and uh, that gives us 16 which we write immediately below the 19 and then we are going to say 19 minus 16 which is going to give us three then after that we're going to bring down the 5 so to make that number 35 now we are going to say how many times does 4 go into 35 the answer is going to be 8 times uh, so it goes 8 times into 32 so of course what this means is that uh, 8 times 4 is uh, 32 which we'll write under that is 35 and then subtract again then 35 minus 32 is going to give us um, 3 again so again 3 is less than 4 then we bring down the 8 so 8 comes down here so this is going to be 38 now we say how many times does 4 go into 38 it goes 9 times into 36 so that's going to be 9 and then we say 9 times 4 we get 36 and 38 minus 36 is 2 there are no more digits to bring down from here 2 is now smaller than 4 so then we say this 2 is our remainder here so that 2 is the remainder 489 is our quotient so that is um, you know just uh, a refresher of uh, the long division of integers now the long division of polynomials is pretty similar so we're just going to start off 
uh, with uh, the first uh, example here just going to be two pointers uh, that we need to mention before we go on with the long division of polynomials the first pointer is that um, we need to write the dividend in descending powers of x okay so express um dividend so that's the polynomial we are dividing uh, in uh, descending powers of uh, x so the highest power first etc so in uh, descending uh, powers of x or whatever the variable is and then the second one we need to ensure uh, that all the powers are represented so ensure all powers are represented uh, we will uh, show you what we mean by this uh, through the examples but basically if the power there is a power that is missing then we're going to put a placeholder for for that power as it were right so the first example we have got uh, x cubed plus 4x minus 2x squared plus 7 so um x cubed plus 4x minus 2x squared plus 7 plus 7 and this is divided by x plus 2 all right so um, in a process of long division so what we're going to do the x plus 2 we're going to write it outside this apparatus again and then inside here we're going to write the dividend which is our polynomial this polynomial is of degree three because the highest power that appears is three so since we're writing these in descending order we start with x cubed then after x cubed uh, must be the minus 2x squared so remember every term goes with the sign before it then that's power 2 and then that's going to be the power of 1 and then power of 0 so that is fine then what we do is we use the leading order terms to divide so for instance the leading order term of the divisor is this one because that's power 1 that's power 0 leading order term of the dividend is this one so what we're going to do we're just going to say what is this term divided by this term so maybe i'm just going to do it uh, on the side here so we're going to say what is x cubed over x and uh, the answer to that is x squared so we're going to write that uh, here okay then after that we're going to need to multiply uh, x squared into the whole divisor so x squared times x is going to be x cubed which we write here and then x squared times 2 is going to be 2x squared which we write there and then we're going to have to subtract okay so uh, as you can see that is similar to that long division of uh, integers so when we subtract x cubed minus x cubed it becomes zero negative 2x squared minus 2x squared is going to be negative 4x squared 
then after that we're going to have to bring down 4x so again that is pretty similar to that long division of integers the leading order term is now this one so we're going to say negative 4x squared divided by x so again if we do it on the side here so negative 4x squared divided by x that is going to give us negative 4x so we write negative 4x there then we're going to look to multiply the whole divisor by negative 4x so first of all if we do negative 4x times x we get negative 4x squared then negative 4x times 2 it's going to give us negative 8x and then we subtract so these two will subtract to 0 this minus this so this is going to be 4x minus negative 8x so that's going to work out to 12x then we bring down the 7 okay now we're going to say what is 12x divided by x and that is going to give us 12 we'll write the 12 here and then 12 times x is 12x 12 times 2 24 subtracting here we get negative 17 now the degree of negative 17 is now 0 because negative 17 is the same as negative 17 x to the power 0 this is now lower than the degree of the divisor which is uh, 1 so once that happens, it means we have reached the end of our division. Just like in long division of numbers, once the number we get here is smaller than the divisor, then that becomes our remainder. So this is now going to become our remainder and uh, our quotient is what is sitting on top here so that brings us to the end of uh, that division now um just for this example uh, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, confirm or check that this is indeed uh, correct okay by the way we're hoping that uh, this video is uh, helpful to you um, please, uh, you know, do uh, make your comments if uh, these videos are helpful to you. You can put them in the comment section. If you've got any questions or, um, as well, uh, you can uh, put them in the comment section. Do not forget, of course, to subscribe to our channel and like the video and share to people who may... Uh, uh, who will uh, find uh, this material useful okay so what we can do is we can check because from uh, our previous video we have said that the dividend is uh, always going to be the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder so uh, the the dividend this one right now is equal to this function here and uh, this is the quotient and this is the divisor so we're going to just work out this side if everything is good it must give us that answer okay so this side is the right hand side so that right hand side is going to be equal to x plus 2 
uh, multiplied by the quotient which is x squared minus 4x plus 12 um, so there is our quotient there and then plus the remainder the remainder is negative 17 then if we multiply through here um, x times x squared is x cubed x times negative 4x is negative 4x squared x times 12 is plus 12x then 2 times x squared is 2x squared we're going to write it under the uh, the x squared term uh, 2 times negative 4x is going to be uh, negative 8x and then 2 times 12 is plus 24 uh, then the negative 17 are going to tuck it in here so the constants on their own then if we just add up the like terms so the x cubed terms is only one so that's x cubed the x squared terms is negative 4 plus 2 so it's going to be minus 2 x squared the x terms will be 12 minus 8 so that is plus 4 x the constants are 24 minus 17 so that's plus 7 now the question is is this the same as the dividend and the answer is yes it is so uh, that means that uh, our quotient and remainder are good all right thank you for watching